Hello, good afternoon everybody. You may wonder why this is in front of me. I've been sewing again. And what I had is an old puffy, which was uh, given to us um, by a family friend. And it actually matches the um, chair we've got in the kitchen. And what I aim to do is to recover it. And as I've said before, I'm an amateur sewer. And I've never upholstered before. I've only done pads. Just the pads of a chair, never the whole chair. So I was a bit worried about doing this because it has these buttons and all these frills and things. So I had some material that was, um, excuse me, I'll get a bit closer. That's it. And I had some material that uh, is going to be similar to what I'm going to have in the kitchen. And I made a template for the top part here, which is that circle there. And then I measured this part here. And I sewed around, and it was really simple actually, much more simple than I thought. And I made a slip cover to go over the top. I'm quite pleased with it actually. It's, um, yeah. I'm quite pleased with it. As I said, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not an experienced sewer. And with these um, videos, what I'm trying to show um, is that it's easy to do things. Just simple things. You don't have to be a, a mega sewer or anything. And um, this just fits over here nicely. Enough to cover the old-fashioned brown velour, which I don't think any of us really like. Um, so there we go. I don't know whether you can see all of that, but it just covers it up nicely. And I was so pleased with it when I finished it, I couldn't quite believe I've done it myself. And all on the Singer sewing machine, the old Singer sewing machine. I don't know how many people are interested in sewing watching this. Uh, I know that they like to see Coco, and she's a real character. But how many people are actually interested in the sewing side of things? I'm not sure. Um, but what I can't stress enough is that it, how simple it is to use. Um, I've never really used a sewing machine as much as I'm using one now. And I can't believe how many things I can make. Just if you think about it, and if you think it through. So, as I said, all I needed was a template, a circular template, and I sewed it around and then turned it inside out, and that's what I got. Voila! So, that's that. Also, I don't know whether you've seen my top today. It's a jewels top, and it was like um, a dress, but it was too short. It came to halfway down my thighs, and what do you wear it with? Do you wear it with jeans? Do you wear it with leggings? And I'm not sure I wanted to wear it with any of it. So I took the bottom part off, and I made it into a top. So now I have a little top. So I'm quite pleased with that as well. So I've been very busy, and yesterday, I went out, uh, I haven't been out for a while again, and um, I went to BM stores, which I used to really enjoy going to, but I think they let too many people in and it becomes not an enjoyable experience. But I did manage to get a couple of things which are really interesting. Um, I've got this here, which is a jar, and it cost me one ninety nine, and it's beautiful glass, and it came with a little bow. You could use it for so many things. You could use it for cotton balls, sweets, biscuits, sugar, or anything you wanted to. And it was $1.99 from BM Stores. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I might get a couple more just for around the house because they do look very pretty. I'm very impressed with the glass. $1.99 for that. So I thought I'd show you that. And also, um, I'm aiming to do a bit of patchwork. Um, to make some other things. So I went into Aldi and they're selling off some fat quarters and if you go through them, I'll open it up for you. Supposedly you can make an apron out of these and these are fat quarters and this is what you get. You get a size, that size, if you can see that. You've got a green one, the same size. Another rose type one. I'm going to leave to show you about soon. And um, a stripy one. A kind of another kind of leafy one. 
another flowery one. So that is, how many fat quarters in there is? One, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters for £3.99. Now, I think that's amazing for material. I mean, that's a good size. You could make a cushion, you could use it for patchwork, you could put it on the, the end of the towels, which I've shown you in another tutorial. You could put on pillowcases. You could do anything with them, and they just look beautiful. Um, they're quite like vintage style as well. There's a couple of choices there as well. So that was three ninety nine for that. And inside, apparently, you can make an apron. And it gives you the instructions to how to make an apron. So, um, quite a nice idea, but I won't be making an apron, but um, I should be making other things with that. Well, one thing, another thing is I wanted to show you was I, I bought some more um, cat kits and material. Now this was £3.50 plus £1.50 postage. Now if you think of that for £3.99, I know it's cat kits in, but um, I think it's quite expensive really, just for some material. And that is amazing. So I was, I was quite pleased with that. I did. I mean, I have still got some left from the other as well, which I've been using it to sew on the edge of towels. So that looks really nice. So while I was in the shops, I got some crafting stuff. Now I've been looking around for months for some lettering stencils, and I went into Pound Stretcher, and I wrote it down on here so I remember to say this was one pound. One pound for these stencils, and you get four in there, and they're all such different sizes. I think that's amazing value for money. One pound for those from Pound Stretcher. I got some um, some blank cards and envelopes to make some cards, and that was ninety nine p um, from um, what was that uh, shop I just talked about? Um, home Home Bargains. That's right from Home Bargains for a pound and there's um, 10 blank cards and blank envelopes so you could make some cards with those and this was a glue set um, this was from BM as well and a pound that, that seems ridiculous doesn't it a pound for a glue set um, this was from Home Bargains and this is felt sheets and this was 89p if you've got children and they're going to be home, um, we don't know what's going to happen with the lockdown, if they're going to be home, this is incredible value for money. They could make Christmas cards, they could do anything they wanted, collages, make little animals, whatever they wanted to do. And some pastel cards I got from um, Pound Stretcher. And these were 69 pence each, a card. And they get to eight cards in there, and they're A4. Online, they're selling them for a lot more money. They're selling them individually for so much more money. I thought that was an incredible value for money for some crafting. So I was a bit busy yesterday looking for crafting things because um, I'm hoping to make some cards and things for Christmas as I think we're going to be in lockdown. It's a nice day today actually. I've, I've um, been outside today but it's very, very blowy and Coco doesn't like the wind so she's by the fire. I've made a fire in here today so she's by the fire over there. So uh, I've been an indoor person today and I said I've made this into a short top. So I've been quite busy. So um, thank you very much um, for listening and watching. And my name is Julie and I shall see you again soon. Bye bye for now.